Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Jos Appelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Today we're taking a look at the Top 3 Pens of Alicia State. If that name doesn't ring a bell, then perhaps you've seen her on Instagram as Adventure Denali. She also uses this name on YouTube, where she posts video about fountain pens, ink, stationery and pets. And don't be surprised if you see a ukululu or other string instrument pop up. Alicia is both into vintage and modern pens, so she cheated a bit by showing us three of each category, as well as an overall favorite pen. Enjoy this video and make sure to pay her channel a visit. Hello everyone. Thank you all so much for allowing me to be a part of this. I'm very excited to talk about pens because it's one of my favorite things to talk about. So I have a channel, it's called Adventure Denali. My name is Alicia and I am mildly obsessed with fountain pens and any writing material, really, or tool, rather. So I have been asked to talk about my three favorite fountain pens. It's really very difficult. I feel very reluctant to make such bold claims, to be honest, uh, because really moods change and different pens kind of fit those different spaces. But the pens that I go back to consistently and I'm always happy to be, re to be using again uh, are these three. And that is Pelican. And really not just this particular Pelican. This is the M600. It's the Red Tortoise edition. But I love the 800s and I love the 400s, so I am just, I love Pelican pens. And I have some vintage ones as well. And they're just, they're one of my favorite pens. I like the look of them. I like their understated elegance. I don't know how to describe them. I like that they're inspired by a bird. I like the way they write. I like the way they look not too fancy, but still classy and they're really solid. They they feel like a pen that will outlive me and yeah, very nicely put together. So definitely Pelican will just have to be one of my favorites. The next one is the Pilot Custom 823. I've had this one in particular for a couple of years. It's the Amber Demonstrator. And this is the only pen in at least my modern collection and potentially just all of my collection. I have a bunch of vintage fountain pens as well, uh, but this particular one, when I wrote with it for the very first time, I actually gasped out loud. It, it's the only pen that's ever taken my breath away and it continues to amaze me every time I write with it. I just am like, oh, why did I ever stop writing with you? Why did I clean you out and put you away in the first place? I love this pen so much. This nib is the best nib I've ever experienced. So yeah, I have to keep going back to this one. It's probably one that I almost always have inked up because it's just such a delight to write with. And then we have the Brass Caveco Sport. And I'm not a huge fan of the nib and I'm not a huge fan of the converter, which is itty bitty. Uh, <laughs> I like having pens that have a huge carrying capacity, like the ones that I've already mentioned. But there's something about this pen that just really does it for me. Um, it's kind of become a bit of like a security blanket or a worry stone. And when I'm feeling anxious, love just the way it feels in my hand, the weight of it, the solidness of the brass. It gets very cold and it heats up with your hand and it just, I don't know, it's a nice tactile feeling. I also use this pen a lot for when I am hiking and going on road trips and such just because it's a pen that I don't worry about. 
I can just throw it in my bag. I'm not gonna stress about it getting beat up. It has a really nice patina, in fact, and I like that about it, that it's just, it's gotten some signs of use. And so this is a pen that I almost have inked up as well. It's nice to have a pen that I don't worry about. Now, <laughs> I know I was only supposed to pick three, but I do want to add a little addendum, if you don't mind, to the end of this. And that would be some pens in my vintage fountain pen collection, because I feel like I can't, I can't talk about pens and not talk about them. So, there are a couple that I tend to always go back to when I am feeling inspired to write with a vintage pen. And oh, now that I'm looking at all of them, I had a plan for which, which ones I would be highlighting. And now that I'm looking over all of them, I'm like, wait a minute, but I love this one and I love this one. <laughs> so it's really hard. Okay, so I'm gonna just put those over there. Okay. This is going to be horrific to see, but <laughs> this one's broken. This is my very first vintage fountain pen and my favorite because it was my first and because I love the look of it and the way it feels to write with. Of course, my tastes probably have changed and maybe I won't enjoy this one as much if I were to ever restore it. I've actually had someone restore it, but it unfortunately cracked again, uh, It's which is just a shame. But I found this in a shop, a local shop, and had wanted, always wanted to get into collecting vintage fountain pens. And this was not at all the style that I expected to like, but I saw it and there was just something about it that really grabbed me. It has the extra large cat band, which with, with uh, which has the uh, um, which has an autograph on it engraved and I love the two-toned nib it's just such a beautiful pen <sighs> how I long to write with this pen again that would be a dream come true and then my other two go-to pens that I love inking up is this Parker Duofold Lucky Curve Junior and I love ebonite. I love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. I love the way it looks. And then this is the uh, Tulip Clip Wall Ever Sharp uh, with a signature nib. And these, this nib is wonderful. This is actually the first nib that I ever restored. So I was pretty proud of how that turned out. And then just because, sorry, <laughs> because this is probably my most prized pen this is the Waterman's Lady Patricia, and it has the most luxurious, flexible nib ever, and a beautiful red ebonite feed, and it's just a beautiful color, and it's so delicate and dainty, and it has this very like art deco kind of vibe. I got it for a ridiculously good deal because the whole top here is cracked and it's been glued back together in a not very attractive way, <laughs> but it writes and she's beautiful and I'm so, so happy to have this pen. So I think that's enough gushing. I'm sorry that I went over my three favorite pens. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs>